Cam, today is game number 41, which makes it the halfway point. How would you just assess the first half of the season so far? Uh, for us as a team, uh, we, you know, we started all good, competitive. Um, our first few games started good, competitive, then the injuries started piling up on us. So, you know, a lot of different rotations, a lot of different lineups, so everybody trying to find their groove, trying to play with each other again, figure out how different people play. You know, it's tough when you, you know, injuries happen that early, then everything has to get switched up, you gotta make it work. But I feel like we, you know, we did good with what's, you know, what we had to do. Everything's been positive, so, I mean, we just gotta, you know, string together some wins, honestly. We're, you know, we're, you know, dropping some games, getting out the playoff, playoffs and play in, so we just gotta, you know, string together some wins, like, in a hurry, or, you know, it'll be a crazy year for us. When it comes to, like, controlling the controllables, what is, the one main thing that you guys can control that could help get back to getting those wins? It's our effort and consistency. Um, you know, sometimes we do good on the boards. We block, you know, we do good on the boards, hitting people. In some games, you know, we don't really hit nobody. Everybody gets a lot of second chance points on us. So I feel like in that aspect of it, the consistency and the effort part, mainly the effort part, though, we just got to keep that up no matter what. No matter how the game's going, whether we miss missing shots, making shots, you got to keep the effort up, even on my part. So, I mean, I just got to stay consistent on that part. After that Portland game, a couple of the guys said that that game left a uh, bad taste in your mouths. Just what's the overall message of how you guys can overall turn things around and come together as a group without not letting the frustration kind of build? Yeah, just uh, just keep investing in our in our game plan. Just sticking to the game plan. Not really, not really trying to point the finger aspect. I would say we just got to stay consistent because you know the game plan was pretty good. I mean they just. They started getting offensive rebounds. That's the only way they started like scoring on us. Offensive rebounds, the transition, and then Simon's at the end. Of course, he's a good player, so he, he did what he had to do. But I mean, just to just keep investing in the group. Whether it looks tough right now, because we're losing, everybody wants to you know probably change things up. But you know, we just got to stick to it. You know, the coaches know what they're doing, so we just got to trust them, trust them, you know, in their vision, and we just got to execute it. Why is it, in your mind, has the effort been so up and down? I mean, it looks like you guys will play hard, and then. Whatever, last two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, things will go awry. Why has it been so up and down in your mind? I don't know. I, mean, I feel like part of it is the making shots piece. You know, some games we, you know, we miss shots and then we all like sink down because we're like, oh, we're playing so hard on defense, but then we're not making shots and it's like, oh, you know, it gets draining for any team. I don't care who the team is. They can say, oh, we'd have effort no matter what. No, nah, if you're not making shots, that effort's going to drop. I don't care who you are. So I probably say that aspect of it mainly. And then I probably say when the team's going runs, like I've been saying all year, when teams going runs, you know, we we drop our head, sink our head. Every, everybody does. We're like, oh, here we go again. Instead of just, you know, locking back in on the game plan, just playing through the run. Because everybody makes a run. But I probably say those are probably the two main aspects I'll, I see from us as a team. But other than that, I mean, we've been solid, solid all year. So nothing to complain about. Forgetting, I mean, obviously you're going to play more minutes when you're starting than you will when you're coming off the bench. That's obvious. So the counting numbers go down, but you've also been just more effective and efficient when you've been starting. How do you get to that same level with whatever minutes you're given when you're coming off the bench? Yeah, I mean, obviously the consistency part of my game is not going to be as it was early in the year because, like I said, I was starting. So you know, you can't really expect too many 20, 30 point games for me coming off the bench with these with these kind of minutes. So I just got to get in how I fit in and just try to start the game off very efficient, very hot, so, you know, it can rub off on my teammates. You know, I feel like when I start off well, we have good energy, we all get pumped up, so I just got to find a way to lock it in. But, you know, like you said, from the starting and bench point, you're not, you're not going to get too many 20, 30-point games outbursts for me in this role I am in right now. But maybe, maybe it'll change, you know, soon. You know, I get back in the lineup, then you can see more consistency from me in the scoring part. But, I mean, I just got to do my job, man. Whatever he wants me to do, he wants me to come off the bench, I got to do that. He wants me back starting, you know, I'm more than open to do it, but, you know, it's just, it's kind of tough, but, you know, I just got to do my job. How tough is it when you mention things like effort and obviously the paint points last game, how tough is it when those things are restraints from you guys have now become struggles as far as adding on to this losing strike? Right? I'll say that again. How tough is it when the strengths you guys have, like playing hard, protecting the paint, when those become struggles, like Portland game, how tough is it to overcome that now? Yeah, that's tough. Um, we're kind of small in our second group, so we got to put more emphasis on it in our second group because we go small. But I mean, I know, I don't know, man. We just gotta, we just gotta do it. I mean, 
you know, we're, we're at the pros. We just got to do it. We can't really keep talking about it or not really much problem solving. We just got to, you know, hit somebody on the rebound and do it. We just got to do it. So, you know, 41 games in, we can't keep talking about strategy or nothing. We just got to do it. So season almost coming to an end, so we just got to hurry up and do it. So that's it. It's more frustrating when those strikes, that those strengths have now become struggles. Like yeah, that, exactly. that, that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously we're missing Day. Day will be, you know, helping us in that second group with the rebounds and the physicality of the fives. Because, you know, I think, I think with the Lakers, they try to play AD in the second group a lot, so we got to, you know, deal with that. But, I mean, you know, it's just tough when you have, like, our, sec our backup big out for a while. You know, he, he handles all that, take care of that. We help him, but, you know, it's tough. But, like I said, the injury part is, is killing us right now, so we just got to keep it up. Well, Cam, you do have the Lakers today, and just what's the challenge of going up against a LeBron James and an Anthony Davis? Nah. Nah. Hold up, hold up. Hold up! Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's good. Um, you know, playing Braun, you know, I think it's my first time. This is my first time actually playing Braun in a regular season game, like me actually playing. Um, so I like to see how he, you know, maneuvers the game, manipulates the game. But, you know, he's a great player, um, done a lot for the game. So I'll definitely be playing at my best tonight. I didn't know it was a TV game, too. So, you know, I guess to take it up a notch. But, you know, it's good um, just to be able to play an all time great like that. So, you know, I can't wait to get it started. This is the moment you're looking forward to when it comes to LeBron regular season, Cam yeah. Thomas. Yeah, obviously, um, I look forward to that. But obviously, growing up, I was a Laker fan. So every time I have a chance to play him, you know, but now I play the Lakers, I just try to go crazy and play that good. So it's more so like me playing the Lakers. And so, because if I was me being a Kobe guy, y'all know. But obviously, me just playing the Lakers, that's really more am ammunition to it instead of just playing LeBron. But obviously, playing all-time great, you cherish moments like that. You tell your grandkids or kids about it, so it's cool.